Recently retired uh, president of the Friends of Virgin Islands National Park. Uh, I'm Patrick Babcock, the owner of Foundation House, and I have with me Court Garropy, our resident architectural guru and head of the shop, and Shane Applegate, who does our uh, national outreach. And we're back here for the second year to help out uh, the island of St. John. And last year we were down in St. Francis Bay. You guys did boardwalk project down there, which had a lot to do with kind of the beaches and the bird watching. And then we came back down, sort of not knowing what we were going to be doing. Right. And as it turns out, we became quick boardwalk experts. We're on our second boardwalk project, which is fitting for, I guess, Foundation House, which uh, is known back in the States for taking what was once a chaotic path and turning it into a structured, controlled, disciplined, safe and supportive, you know, literally a foundation for getting from point A to point B safely. But here we are in St. John doing it uh, in the wilderness. And perhaps Joe, you can explain what this boardwalk project was all about for us this year. This boardwalk, as well as the one in Francis Bay last that we worked on last year, were all built about 10 years ago. And basically trying to provide some accessible access into certain park areas. Here, uh, this boardwalk is built around the Cinnamon Bay ruins. These are Danish ruins, uh, built probably in the early 1700s. The particular facility was processing sugarcane into molasses that would then be shipped back to Denmark for pro further processing. Boardwalk and pathway, we have some concrete pathways as well, that wend its way through the ruins, provide access for all visitors. So to provide some reasonably level accessibility into sites and let everybody enjoy the wonders of this park is a priority for us. Hi, my name is Eric. I've been in Foundation House for four months. I'm Luke and I've been in Foundation House for about seven months now. My name is uh, Streeter Simmons. I've been in Foundation House since August 24th of 2018, so it's been about seven months now. Going into the trip, they let us know that we we're going to be doing service work and having a lot of fun. Yeah, the, uh, the outline of the trip was well put together. They kind of gave us a day by day, hour, almost to the hour of what, we were what was expected of us and, and what we were going to be doing on a daily basis. The travel was fairly easy. It's going to be a bumpy ride. <laughs> going down was great. Kind of got, got into St. Thomas, took the ferry ride over to St. John, which was really nice across that little like inlet. I, I kind of had a different expectation of where we would be staying, but eventually kind of grew to love the campground, realizing that it was a lot nicer than than what I thought. I thought we were sleeping on four in tents and everything was built up on platforms and, and uh, we had a kitchen and a bathroom and a shower. We were about 10 minute walk, I wouldn't even say 10 minutes, like five minute walk away from a really nice beach called uh, Cinnamon Bay. Sand was beautiful, water beautiful, snorkeling at the water, fantastic. We got to go and swim in the ocean almost for an hour at least every day. The work was, while it was hard, it was also satisfying. You get the sense of accomplishment. We worked on a replacing the tops of a boardwalk for around a old molasses processing plant from like the 1700s and it was really cool to learn about the history on that and to create something that will last a while and that a lot of people will use. While we were working on it there were multiple groups that came and were seeing what we were doing so I know that people will actually use it and it won't just sit there. So it was a lot of satisfying work as Eric said. Before the trip, I had no idea how to do any carpentry or any work that had to do with tools or anything like that. 
What is that, Streeter? Frustration. Court and Cam, two guys who work at the house and are experienced uh, fixer uppers and you know tool guys. They uh, taught me a ton of stuff. I ended up being able to know how to do custom cuts and did a ton of drilling and screws and all that. And it was just interesting and awesome to me because before the trip, I would probably be the least the person least trusted to do anything that had to do with the tools or a saw or any of that other than maybe drilling in a few screws. However, by the end of the trip, I was, it was me and Court doing these like custom cuts while everyone else was drilling in the screws. So it was pretty cool to, to me to like, you know, be trusted with that. People were also going on hikes and cutting down trees and branches that were in the way of the trails. I got up every morning and went to the trails and cleared the brush and cut down the trees with the hand saws and hiked into the, to, to the woods in the national park where we were working. And I didn't necessarily, I wasn't necessarily overwhelmed with joy to get up in the morning and go do all that. But by the end of the day, or the, at least the end of the work, the work time, I did have a sense of accomplishment and a sense of almost relief that I had earned to be here to kind of go out and, and swim around and enjoy the Caribbean, enjoy St. John. That's what we did. Some of the guys that I didn't know as well when the trip started, I felt like by the end of the trip I had really gotten to know them and kind of knew what they were capable of. And, you know, just kind of their strengths and weaknesses and their personalities and, you know, realizing that even though maybe I didn't like them going in, I kind of grew to, to respect them at, at the very least or learn to like them towards the end of the trip. Just hitchhiking here. It, it makes me feel good that Joe and the, the Parks Department have, have given us a, a significant carpentry project that we can come down here, use the skills that we've been developing with the guys over the you know, course of the, 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 the previous months and years, um, you know, developing their carpentry skills, their building skills, and, and coming out here and uh, you know, putting it to the test in the field. And uh, it's been really great for me to see, uh, you know, some of the guys that, that even haven't been part of the part of the building project before, uh, learning some new skills and getting getting turned on to that, working with their hands, and uh, you know, making a difference. So, I worked a lot with carpentry, and I haven't done much carpentry in my time. So it was really fun to learn how to use all the different tools and inspired me to maybe do more of that in the future as a possible career path. Like I said earlier, just like work hard, play hard, like the work, as Eric said, made the when we go swimming just so much more enjoyable because you know that you actually put the effort in and we're able to go out and relax or go for a swim and enjoy. We started slow, it took some time to figure it out and to deconstruct things. It took a little bit of time to figure out who would do what, who was best at what, and then to get that down. And then immediately everybody kept supporting each other and taking turns at different things. Everybody picked up something new, just like Court was saying, fit the course of the project. You know, it was a lot of fun. So they worked really hard and had a blast doing it. Well, we're about to wrap up this project and uh, we look forward to again being, you know, given the opportunity to come back down next year for whatever surprise might be thrown our way. And um, I appreciate the uh, opportunity. We really, well, we, really again, I, we really Thank appreciate you. your your contribution. The highlight of the trip, I think, was probably the boating the boating trip. <laughs>
on a boat, speeding through the waves, and we got a chance to do that for many hours. We did a ton of snorkeling in this place called the Indies. trip was a lot of fun for me as well. Going to the British Virgin Islands, some of the best snorkeling I've ever had in my life. Plant life and fish life was just, or I guess marine life, was fantastic. It was fun to dive down and see all the stuff. Yeah, we saw a lot of, you know, uh, reef fish and turtles. And I saw an eagle ray. I just thought it was a manta ray, a manta ray until our boating guide uh, let me in on that secret. To me, service work just kind of means giving back to somebody or, or someone. In this case, it was more or less the whole island, having no expectations of getting anything in return and just really doing it to do it and to help out. And for me, as selfish as it may be, I, I kind of felt like I still get a little bit out of it every time I help somebody. I get a little bit of that sense of accomplishment and a sense of relief, which helps me out. Service work to me means just doing something not for yourself and for other people. There are a ton of people in the world that have so many more issues than someone like me. It's just something that can take me out of myself and it's very rewarding. To me, it's very similar to that. Just, it helps me get out of myself and to help others without expecting anything in return. And that's really important in recovery at least, just because thinking about other people and worrying about them and not just yourself and then not expecting anything back is just a good way. I don't know, like I said, get out of yourself. We came, we saw, we rebuilt. Yes, sir. Overall, uh, what I took away from this whole experience was that if you are actually willing to get help from others and learn and seek advice, then there's pretty much nothing that anyone can't do. Like I said, I had no idea what I was doing going into it because of like the great advice from others and people being willing to let me fail and me understanding that I might fail eventually just turned into a ton of progress and uh, me learning a new skill. I think it's a wonderful opportunity. I think people who don't kind of seize those opportunities as they pass, especially Foundation House, I don't think there's any other uh, sober living community or program that does trips, I mean, not that I know of at least, um, that it does trips to the Virgin Islands. And there's talk about going elsewhere in the following year. Um, I think it was a wonderful opportunity. Some people, I believe, got turned off by the idea of doing a service work trip. Um, I would just try to encourage anybody else who's thinking about going on the trips is put in the effort, put in the time, and the rewards are worth it. For someone who's thinking about coming to Foundation House or whose parents are maybe thinking about uh, talking with their children about coming to Foundation House. From the second you get here to the second you leave, you always feel as if you're welcomed here by not just the staff, but other residents who are here. We are a uh, family of sorts. We all need the same amount of help, no matter if you've been here for two days or if you've been here for five months. You can always learn from someone the people in this in this program are really the people who are going to be, to an extent, saving your lives from a life that you once necessarily didn't want to be in or that just wasn't working out for you. Yeah, just if an opportunity like these don't come along very often and to just take advantage of 
those opportunities because you never know when they'll lead to. And as I was told before I went on the trip, it's something that I'll remember for the rest of my life.